put on goal is actually a class of star system called an eclipsing binary, in which two stars, we'll call algal A and algal B, are bound together orbiting each other every 2.867 days. While algal A is brighter and has more actual mass, algal B has a larger radius. It's bigger, but dimmer. Our line of sight happens to align with the orbital plane of these two stars causing eclipses during each orbit. Primary eclipse where the larger and dimmer algal B obfuscates algal A is visible to the naked eye. While the secondary eclipse where algal A slightly dims algal B is too faint for the naked eye to observe. So algal seems constant, except during the primary eclipses lasting about eight hours, where it visibly dims, which is why Algol appears to wink. Now, just consider for a moment how insane it is that these massive celestial objects, these are stars, are spinning around and around each other at a speed that, uh, in which I'm, I'm pretty sure in celestial terms is fast as fuck. However, recent research has revealed that the gap between the current cycle length of 2.867 days and the 2.85 day cycle originally documented by ancient Egyptians as the result of a, an ongoing mass transference from Algol B to Algol A. Algol B was originally a more massive star, but due to its size, advanced to a later subgiant stage of evolution much sooner. Because in general, more massive stars go through their life cycle a lot faster than less massive stars. However, as Algol B expanded and their orbits grew closer together, Algol A began absorbing gases from Algol B eventually growing brighter and more massive. In other words, Algol A is slowly devouring the former dominant star, Algol B. Every time Algol dims, we are witnessing, in a sense, the death throes of a dying star, briefly gaining the upper hand in a battle it cannot hope to win. Its former dominance long past, its fate sealed billions of years ago by the unforgiving laws of physics. Interestingly, there's a third star in the Algol system, separated from the dueling pair, orbiting the other two roughly once every two Earth years, bearing witness, you could say, to the carnage as it unfolds. While Algol will sometimes show up in the charts of the perpetrators of heinous crimes, as well as the victims of atrocious acts, Algol seems to have at least as much to do with bearing witness to them, to making sure that they're not ignored, but what to do with knowledge of the things Algol seems to bring up when dealing with an Algol placement. How do we come to terms with the terrible things that people are capable of? How do we come to terms with the dark side of our own nature? Underneath our frontal lobe and all of our higher cognitive reasoning and executive function, the brain that operates no differently than a shark or a Komodo dragon. It would seem that the story of Medusa suggests that even the gods aren't immune to behaviors driven by that part of the mind.